All right, everybody, uh, back here. Um, it's it's a fun day today. We got a ton of mail. Uh, packages are down here, right here. I'm gonna pull from this pile. Uh, this is the uh, debut of the new cutter. Picked it up today at lunch. I think it came with five blades, so we should be good to roll for a while. Um, I think about ten packages today, and then the mail should be caught up. There's a lot of stuff that I actually ordered and it's, is on the way, so let's get started here. Oh wow, that's really sharp. Okay, we're starting out hot. That's a 2011 Cam Newton Contenders, and this is a very condition sensitive set. Um, I've just noticed from purchasing this card that you'll get chipping very common on this these borders. Um, you know, it depending on the year of Contenders is it varies drastically the sensitivity of the cards. I know last year I've had I had a lot of success getting nines and nine fives with uh Luck and Robert Griffins, but this one looks pretty sharp though. Um and something else to note with this these contenders rookies, a lot a lot of people already know this, but the uh right here on the helmet, if it doesn't have the uh Rido logo or sticker or whatever, it's like an S P or something. I don't know. There's a shorter print run of those ones. But this is a nice card. Uh, he's been playing well. Um, as a Saints fan, it's going to be fun to match up against those guys, but let's keep rolling through here. Um, it's a nice card. That's interesting. Never, never seen that before. That's awesome. These are the uh, 2008 Tops Rookie Premier Auto. This is an on card, and that's a <laughs> signature looks weird. Looks like a little kid wrote it. Um, and then I don't know. This might not be a real one because I thought there was a uh, Tops hologram on the back. Maybe if, if somebody knows if the 2008s have the the hologram sticker. I, I know 2007 has them because I have the Adrian Peterson, but. Yeah, maybe, I hope it's not, but it, it could be, you, you really never know anymore when you buy on eBay. Let's just do this one, this is an interesting, it's an envelope, but it's a package, it's two in one. <laughs> this might take a little while to get into. Okay, so we put it in cardboard. Actually pretty easy to get to. <clears throat> in a Kleenex. That's a different way of doing things. That's awesome. This is from a buyer on eBay, Tag7. If anybody's bought from him, he's always got the, the Tomlinson cards. Not many people collect Tomlinson anymore, I guess because he's not playing anymore, but people need to remember he is a Hall of Famer or a future Hall of Famer. And this, I bet back in the day this was a, like a $600 card. I picked it up for $100. Um, perfect card, flawless. This isn't the easiest set. I've sent 50 to 100 between Breeze, Tomlinson, and Vic of this card, and I've gotten like three tens out of from uh, PSA. So tough set out of 999, and it's a uh, it's got the refractor. Awesome card. Let's keep going. <clears throat> That blade is so sharp. Barely put it on there. It cut right through. Uh, oh, this is a cool card. I was excited to win this one. I didn't think I was going to win it. I'm a huge fan of Topps Chrome last year. I, I ripped so many of the uh, blasters for 19.99 at Target and Walmart. And this these are tough to get. I think I pulled one in my, out of all the packs I opened, and it was a David Wilson. This is just the 1984, and it's the, the refractor version. They have a gold out of 75. And this is the refractor. It's out of 99. You can see the refractor uh, the reflection on it. So that's an awesome Russell Wilson. And this one, I already cut it. I think I got jumpy at work. Not really sure, but... Uh 
So Michael Vick's, as all, as you all know, I'm a huge Michael Vick fan. I know everybody's sour on him because Foles is playing so well, but I don't know. Maybe he can go to another team next year and try to revive it, revive the career again. But this, the, these were cheap. This was like forty five, and I think this was like seventy five for a contender's Vick. I think there's uh, 327. That's a low print run on a contender's auto. So, I don't know. I'm I'm a huge Vic fan. I probably always will be. I've, I was a fan even when he had to go to jail for a while. <laughs> Kept all his cards. And he got hot in 2010, and he's kind of cooled. But he still, he still changed the game, in my opinion, with his legs. So, I think he'll always be one of my favorite players. And this one's sharp. This, th I might send this in. It's really sharp. You usually have chipping on this these black borders. But uh that's a nice contenders Vic. <clears throat> so both of those for 120, 130 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong there. This is cool. I'm uh, um uh, I'm on green. He's kind of a forgotten player. I think he finished his career with over 9,000 yards and like a 4 or 5 average, which is really solid. This was just a 2004 SP Authentic Scripps. Um, and I think it's an on-card. It looks like an on-card. And this was like 5 bucks. I didn't have any autographs of him on. And I, I remember watching him when he was in college at Nebraska back when I was a Nebraska fan back in the day. He's always been a fan favorite. So two more. It's kind of a longer video, but we just got more packages and... A lot to talk about with this one. So, oh, this is an awesome card. Now, this card is severely underrated. All the all the ninety nine SPX SP Authentic Contenders autos, like Edger and James, uh, Ricky Williams, Tory Holt, that class of rookies. I mean, these cards are so underrated. You can get, you can pick these up so cheap. I think this was fifteen bucks. I mean, this is a contender's. It's an on-card Tory Holt. He's a Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Um, in good condition. And I don't know what the print run is on, on this. I think it's around a thousand. But back back then, they didn't make you know the way they turn out sets now. Like I don't know, there was twenty sets, but there were only a, a few that actually had on-card autos or you know. I don't even know if they had. Rookie, rookies with the uh, jersey in 99. I'm trying to think back. No, I don't, I don't think they did. I think they started that in 2000, but this is an awesome card. I'm stoked about that one. <clears throat> All right, uh, one more package. And I think it's something good. It's oh, it's a Michael Vick day. <laughs> um, yeah, this was really cheap. 80, 85, maybe 90. Um, God, this case is in, this case is really scuffed up. If you can see, I don't know, it's almost like the auto is like got prints on the sticker or something. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll have to take a closer look at this. But this is a PSA 9, which is tough to get for this set, considering the black borders I talked about. Um, for the price, couldn't beat it. Um, awesome card, and it, it looks it looks absolutely fantastic. Aside from the sticker, this case is this must be in when they this must have been graded back in the day because the case is even kind of scuffed up. I might have to uh, get this re-slabbed and see if they can wipe that uh, sticker down with something like this, <laughs> the cloth that I have out. But uh, that's it for this mail day. I'm I thought that was a fantastic mail day, um, and I think I'm almost up to date. I, I should have another mail day tomorrow, and um, send me some comments on uh, suggestions. I know there was uh, some comments on doing some videos on different players, my uh, PC of them. So I don't know what players you guys would want to see. Um, I'm, I've got the biggest PCs of Breeze, Peterson, and Vic, I'd say. So just uh, send me what you guys want to see, and I'll... I've, I gotta go to the bank to get them out of the safety deposit, but I can show anything. Alright, guys, thanks a lot and uh, take care.